Hello my friends, Domination Tips, reporting right back with the next guide for you. So today we will deal about our bunkers, because some of my Alliance members as well as some uh, subscribers from my videos told me that they have some problems, some struggle and even some uh, very frequently asked questions and concerns about the uh, bunkers and about some researches all around the bunkers and the heavy tanks. So only for example, when and which tanks are getting splash damage from research, what's up with donated troops and all that stuff and I can only tell you it is a very complicated topic so I want to bring a little bit light for you into this topic therefore I have structured my guide for you um, we will start with some general information so only for example in which age you are getting access to the heavy tanks then um, what is the amount of bunkers you can build from which is this uh, from which researches is this amount depending on then which researches we have already at which ages um, then the uh, the link from the offense using and the defense using of these tanks and the bunkers um, at least we will also get to the upgrade stages so how often you can upgrade your tanks in which ages and which optical differences we have between so that if you are the attacker and have to uh, make a strategy for a base you can just easily differentiate between the upgrade stages of, an, of a bunker and make yourself a tactic whether it's better to skip this and just kill the bunker because the spawning tanks are just um, pointless and not very strong or whether this uh, bunker is still completely upgraded and they are spawning heavy troops which you can probably use with betrayal for your own purposes in total we will uh, come up to the last chapter of um, experiences and recommendations there i will tell you uh, which uh, experience me and my alliance members already did and what i can recommend you mm -hmm. um, when what to upgrade and when to skip probably because there are uh, more important updates mm -hmm. i meant upgrades <laughs> sorry guys First on, uh, the bunker is getting available in the industrial age, so especially all industrial as well as global and even atomic players are interested, maybe interested in this topic, but also uh, players from the enlightenment age or other ages which uh, intend to get up to the industrial age uh, somewhere. The, um, Bunker is spawning some heavy tanks and it also spawns like nearly all other defensive buildings. One um, defend defender very very early um, in about 8 seconds. This is a, um, already boosted up value because it, this bunker is in range of my Acropolis. So it may be some other values at your base. And uh, the next wave you see is quite use, um, quite has a quite duration which is quite much much longer so you see the second tank is getting spawned um, nearly one minute after the first tank so it's quite a while the research is concerning the bunker is uh, stage six of the university the first industrial stage our nationalism uh, book and in this book we have five chapters in my opinion chapter one and chapter five are completely not ridiculous but they are really pointless because the bunker is not a building which is um, very important due to its high hit points but you can get two times plus 10% um, additional hit points and so in total you will have to pay about I don't know 20 or even 30,000 oil and in the end about 90,000 oil for some about 640 or even 680 additional hit points and that seems to be ridiculous for me so the first upgrade I did because uh, I had to do to get to the stage 2, 3 and 4 update upgrades but uh, chapter 5 I didn't research and I won't do in the future also, I tried to skip it. Um, chapter 2, 3 and 4 are more interesting but uh, chapter 2 is um, getting one another additional capacity for your tanks so this means and there can be spawned one more tank in total the problem about this is i already told you the first tank is getting spawned quite uh, quite early after eight seconds if you have all research is done and the acropolis boost for your bunker but the next tank then is only getting spawned at 48 seconds later or even if you have not boosts and research done even about uh, i think one minute later that means there is one minute time between the first and the second spawn and most often the first tank already got destroyed or even betrayed by the enemy before uh, spawning the second one so i think the second research is okay but not uh, major important the major importance should be chapter 3 and even chapter 4 because at chapter 3 you see we can get our second bunker the uh, complete limit um, in the industrial as well as global and atomic age are two bunkers so um did I say three? 
I'm not quite sure. Chapter 3, nevertheless, Chapter 3 is very important because you get access to two bunkers. You can't have more uh, in the current game. Chapter 4 is about plus 10% additional attack from our heavy tank defenders. That's also quite uh, some kind of cool. We have another um, research which is depending or even concerning our heavy tanks but over here it is quite the fact I already mentioned here we have the problem that these researches which are done are only for offense purposes so they are also concerning our tank but not our defense tanks from the bunkers over here we see the splash damage research and the troop capacity need uh, which is getting reduced from 25 to 24 but the splash damage which is by the way very by the way very awesome is is not getting researched for defense purposes only for offense purposes or for donated troops in your town center which we will talk about later for global age guys we have also another research which is at stage art uh, 8 of the university at the resistance chapter if you go among this you see that at chapter 4 you can research that uh, destroyed factories of your um, base will uh, produce some tanks some heavy tanks even so this is a really uh, strong chapter we will talk about later when it is sensible to uh, research this and how to to place or even to locate your factory so that they give a boost to your defense in world war as well as your ordinary base in the university we also have some researches among uh, Leonardo da Vinci at stage 5 but we only have over here again some offense researches so we can research the hit points as well as the damage for our tanks but this is definitely not in defense meaning only in the offense meaning. Again, I have uh, made some visual visualized uh, graphics for you to uh, make it more uh, more um, obvious to see what I mean. And here we are talking about the upgrade stages and the differences in between all uh, bunkers we have so that we can easily differentiate between all stages and see, for example, which stage the enemy base has of his bunkers. Let's start with the industrial age. Like I told you, in the industrial age, you can build the bunker as well as upgrade the bunker. So you have two stages of bunkers in the the industrial age both are looking very simil uh, similar so in the industrial age it is quite the hardest to uh, differentiate between both stages to see whether mk1s or even mk2s are spawning but nevertheless if you compare them you see there are some uh, very um, some quite obvious um, differences between the first thing which is uh, major obvious is the roof because you can see the upgraded version has all over the same color this beige color and the uh, not upgraded version has this gray metal roof so you can see if the roof is gray only mk1s are spawning if the complete bunker has the same color mk2s are spawning there are also some minor differences like the barbed wire on top at the maxed out stage and no barbed wire at the not maxed out stage but therefore most often you have to zoom in or to pinch in and which costs you already some time so make sure which uh, roof color is there and you can see what tanks are spawning out the global stage is even has a complete other color. There's also some uh, some little aspects about the uh complete structure of the bunker so we have not uh, three columns over here only two columns at the front uh, at the front and at the back but this is not very obvious the most obvious fact is the colors which is changing from uh, beige to uh, to gray and which makes it very easily to dis uh, differentiate between industrial and global stage at the atomic stage the bunker stays gray but the complete shape of the bunker is changing the barbed wire is going away and the complete edges are nearly morphing to some uh, round uh, yes to a round shape in total uh, with less edges and um, corners uh, i don't know how to describe it better also in the previous stages we saw see at every defensive building with this uh, red and blue colors um, if it is an uh, enemy defensive building or one of your own and in the global age we quite don't have this because over here the complete bunker is only in the colors yellow and gray so in total i think the uh, different upgrade stages are quite obvious and easily to differentiate 
Now let's come to our last chapter, the experiences as well as recommendations we have. And the first we talked about was your resistance chapter. So if an enemy comes and destroys your factory at your base and you have already researched in the Global Age your resistance chapter, chapter 4 of this book, you see that some heavy tanks will spawn from your factory. And the heavy tanks which will spawn are definitely not depending on your research you did on the, your blacksmith because the tank the uh, research you do on your blacksmith is only for offense purpose it is um, like the forest defenders um, depending from your depots is the factory or the resistance um, research depending on your highest bunker therefore if you have to choose whether to upgrade both bunkers one time or even one of your bunkers two times i can recommend you upgrade one of your bunkers two times because you also will affect your uh, resistance spawning um, yeah, so it's better to have one low level bunker and one very high bunker which is better protected than only two bunkers at a mid stage because like I told you the resistance chapter also will get affected like the uh, garrisons effect our Colosseum and town center defenders and the depot effect our forest defenders. Also the splash damage we talked about is only an offense matter. This means if you have researched it, none of your tanks which will get spawned by your own bunkers will have the splash damage. Only some tanks which you are producing in your own factory or tanks which get donated to you. And this topic also relates us or links us to the next topic. I had uh, or I heard many questions about when do get uh, some tanks the splash damage and is it depending on the uh, donator or even of the researcher uh, receiver of the tank so now let's make um, an example if you are in the industrial age and requesting some heavy tanks and if you have researched the splash damage it is not mattering who is sending you the tank when you are getting this heavy tank and you have done the research you will definitely get the splash damage this is for all topics if you have researched some additional damage for your tanks for your ranged fighters for your artillery for everything and you are getting some troops these boosts will get add on to these troops no matter whether the donator has already researched Researched. So make sure to do all of these researches so that all kind of units and troops which are getting uh, donated to you will get this boost. When we now are talking in general about our defense, very often I hear about the topic whether it's better to upgrade first the depot or even a bunker. I can only tell you that bunkers are very very attractive for enemies to use betrayal, especially in the world war, because in the world war you have much time to scout and even to locate and see which upgrade stages your enemy have at its bunkers. And if you see the enemy has no depots, so only some ponies from the enlightenment age are spawning, but he has already some bunkers, even probably some upgraded bunkers, you see there are very heavy tanks. If you now have the opportunity to take one of your betrayal tactics and use it at the enemy troops it is far better in my opinion and i also uh, recognized it at enemy attackers that they i think they are sh uh, thinking the same way it is more uh, effective to use the betrayal to get one heavy tank than one ordinary tank because with the heavy tank you get with one betrayal tactic about 24 enemy troops capacity but if you are taking only an ordinary tank you will get about 10 if you have uh, probably the uh, chance to get two ordinary tanks only 20 enemy capacity therefore heavy tanks of your own base are very attractive for the enemy to take it with betrayal now my uh, recommendation would be first upgrade your tank depots because you will strengthen up your forest defenders as well as your whole defense because you don't make yourself uh, your own base so attractive to take an enemy over with some uh, occupied tanks from the enemy but now if you have uh, some upgraded bunkers and no tank defenders and the enemy is quite taking <coughs> one of your um, heavy tanks occupied with his own betrayal tactic then um, except for your anti-tank guns you have quite no weapons which are very effective to the tanks if you have some tank depots already you have at least some uh, minor strong tanks which can uh, yes fight fight back these heavy tanks so my recommendation definitely is upgrade first your depots and then your bunkers i would say i also did it the same way Hopefully I was able to explain this a little bit complex uh, theme topic. 
to you in that way that it was quite understandable for all of you. Also, hopefully, I could clear um, all of your questions you you had before. If you have, um, nevertheless, some uh, concerns or even some ideas, opinion about this video, just give me a comment down in the comment section. I would really appreciate uh, receiving some likes from you or even some comments whether you liked it. We'll see you soon. Your Domination Tips.